the presentations make you feel super stressed and feel like they take way too many hours to prepare. Imagine if you could walk into any room, present with total confidence, and actually enjoy it. Today, I'm going to share the best method for giving presentations. I created this proven method for my own clients who were really nervous about making their own presentations. Maybe you can relate to this. The framework that I'm going to share will show you how to have almost no stress to create your presentations 10 times faster, to make your presentations 10 times more effective to have your audience really interested in your talk. And most of all, to help you have fun giving your presentation. <laughs> I'm Grant. I'm an executive business English coach. And for years, I have worked with my private clients who are CEOs of international companies. These CEOs are incredibly smart, skilled, have great companies, but they're not native English speakers and they want to grow their companies all over the world. So they're not confident in their English. And that's how I help them to become confident being a CEO and communicating in English. And all of them had the same feeling of, oh, I don't really like giving presentations and I really don't like giving presentations in English. And I created this aimed framework. This is my framework and I've called it my aimed framework and I created this for them. And what I found is that this framework works great for non-native English speakers, but it works equally great for native English speakers because it's a simple, easy framework that works that really, really works. And today I'm gonna to share this great presentation framework for you. I'll also say that this works great for meetings. So as I go through this, I'm gonna talk about presentations, but I want you to think about how could this work for my meetings also? So let's just dive right into this. I have made five other videos about this. This is part six of a six part series on my AIM framework. So if you want any more information on any of these different parts of this framework, you can find all of those videos in the description below. Let's go right into my AIMED framework and I'm gonna go right through these. A stands for who is your audience and how can you relate to them? The I stands for it's not about I, 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 I. It's not about you. It's about serving your audience. The M stands for what message does this audience really need or really want? The E stands for emotion. What emotion do you want your audience to feel? And finally, the D stands for what do you want your audience to do? Let me go through each of these steps in this AIMED framework and show you how you can make your presentations 10 times better, 10 times easier, and make them fun and interesting. The A in AIMED stands for audience, as I talked about before. So who is your audience? You need to put a little bit of time in your preparation here and sit and think. I've been asked to give this presentation to some group. Could be a small group, could be a big group, but who are they? And you need to think about really who, who is this audience? And when you can figure out who you're trying to help here, what audience this is, like really figure it out. And some people say, oh, I don't know who my audience is. I tell them, do some homework. Figure out who they are. Why are they here? Figure that out. Because it's the why are they here part is so important. And that gets into the I and the aimed, which is 
we all grew up thinking presentations were all about us. I, 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 I'm so nervous. I have to tell the audience everything I know. Well, guess what? The presentation's not about you. It's not about me. This presentation's not about me. That I am making this video. I'm making this video for you. I'm here to serve you. You see how this works? It's not about everything that I know about presentations. That doesn't make for a great presentation. It doesn't make for a great video. It's not about me. It's not I, I, I. It's about you. How can I serve you with what you really need? And that gets right into our M and our AIM framework, which is what message does this audience really need or want? So you figured out who they are. Now we've got to figure out what do they really need or want today? And spend a little bit of time thinking about that. And it can be really easy. Like put yourself in their shoes. If you were in the audience, what did you really want or what do you really need today? Think about it. They don't need everything you know. They don't need it. They don't want it. But they do need something. They do want something from you today. You're here to help them, to serve them. You have all this knowledge. Serve them with what they need or want. And that's what your message is. And so when you can figure that out, delivering that right message that this audience really needs or wants, then this presentation is easy, it's simple. It's really simple to put together then. And now the fun part starts of going into the E in the AIM framework. What emotion, what feeling do you want this audience to feel? Because that's all they remember at the end. When you go through a presentation, you don't remember the data or the figures or the charts or all the words on the slides. You don't remember that stuff. But you sure do remember how somebody made you feel. And that's what this is all about. The E in here is, how did you make them feel? So you figured out who your audience is. You got a message that you're serving them with. Now, what do you want them to feel? Do you want them to feel happiness? Do you want them to feel scared? Do you want them to feel like, oh, we're so proud? What do you want them to feel? Because that's the way you're gonna present. You're gonna present your information so that they feel this message. And when you present that way, your presentation is simple. It's easy. You're speaking from the heart and you're gonna really enjoy it. <laughs> it's just so much easier than being nervous and worried and preparing and memorizing. You don't need to do that. Just speak from the heart and give the audience the message they need and let them feel whatever it is that you believe they need to feel from this message. And finally, we get to the last part of this, the D. And the D is, what do you want them to do? <laughs> you gave them a great message that they really needed. And you got them to feel something. Now ask them to do something. And this is key. Most of us just skip this part and say, oh, okay, presentation's finished, thank you. Any questions? But no, if you really wanna make this presentation effective, ask them, to do something, then they will take your message and do something with it. Today, I'm asking you to do something. I want you to take this framework. I want you to prepare your next presentation or your next meeting and use this. Take a little extra time at the beginning and prepare. Who am I talking to today? Why are they here? How can I really help them? What message do they really need or want today? What do I want them to feel? And finally, what do I want them to do? Try it. Share what happens in the comments. I'm telling you, this is the best presentation method there is. Enjoy it, have fun, and I will talk to you very soon. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, share your comments, and I also invite you to learn your Business English Confidence Score, you'll find the link in the description below this video.